Saudi Krab. Welcome to Phuket Extra on this Monday, May 14th. I'm JP Mistanza with the news you missed over the weekend. A Rohingya relief ship meant to carry out rescue operations in case of emergency. They were informed that their movements would be monitored and restricted if entering waters near Phuket. And now the Royal Thai Navy 3rd Area Command have yet to respond as to why that's the case. The whole thing is over the MY Phoenix relief ship which is operated by the Migrant Offshore Aid Station, or MOAS, a project founded in 2013 in response to the wave of Africa to Europe migrants risking their lives and dying at sea in the Mediterranean. They were the ones that made international headlines during the migrant crisis in early 2016. The ship has been traversing the Andaman Sea all the way from Sri Lanka with the aim of observing and, if they have to, carry out rescue operations in the case of humanitarian disasters, like the Rohingya migrant crisis. But on May 3rd, they say the Royal Thai Navy was shadowing them and informed them that they would not be allowed to anchor without permission from Thai authorities, despite being in international waters. Calls from the Phuket News have so far only been met with assurances that a comment was forthcoming, but so far that hasn't been the case. MOAS operations are scheduled to carry on until May 20th. For more, and to update yourself on it, visit thephuketnews.com. After getting unfriended on Facebook by a woman who refused his advances, a 31-year-old man fatally stabbed the woman's boyfriend while he was allegedly drunk early on Saturday morning. Police arrived at the scene at a home in Kosire to find the boyfriend, 29-year-old Tirasit Sailim, in the middle of a dirt street with a knife still protruding from his left armpit. Witnesses told police that the suspect, Wachara Wichaikul, had stopped by the home of the unnamed woman whom he had met online earlier this year and demanded to speak with her. But neighbors told him to leave and when the boyfriend showed up, the suspect allegedly stabbed him multiple times. The suspect was then caught by neighbors who held him down until police arrived, but attempts to rescue the boyfriend, Tirasit, were unsuccessful and he died at the scene. The unnamed woman, meanwhile, explained to police that she had repeatedly ignored the suspect's previous advances after he began sending threatening messages. Last year, Thailand produced 2 million tons of waste, much of which comes from bags, straws, and food packaging, but now the government is considering a possible levy on shopping bags to help reduce the consumption. Next week, the Finance Ministry is meeting with an agency from the private sector, the Thai Retailers Association, the TRA, all with the aim to sign a memorandum of understanding to reduce plastic consumption and pollution and while a levy is being considered, it's just one of many options, which can also include the introduction of biodegradable bags. Consumer bag usage accounted for 13% of plastic waste in 2015, with officials from the public and private sector admitting that it's a consumer problem more than anything else. As 8.7 bags is the average of a typical person in Bangkok, they use that much per day. Whatever the decision comes from that meeting next week, 15 major shopping malls and supermarkets nationwide are already on board to honor the agreement. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. Stay right there. Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Southeast Asia's leading destination marathon, the award-winning Laguna Phuket Marathon, will take place at the Laguna Phuket Resort Complex on Bangtao Beach on June 9th and 10th. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. 10% more rain is being forecasted for the provinces along the Andaman coast, including Phuket. That's according to the Thai Meteorological Department, TMD. Thailand is officially entering the rainy season this week, according to the TMD Director General, as southwesterly winds return and a warning is being sent out nationwide to expect torrential rain until June and again in September and October. Phuket has already tasted a bit of the coming rains with scattered thunderstorms in recent weeks, although more is expected to come our way this year. Officials are already preparing for the potential floods that storms will bring. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. The government's program to reintegrate insurgents from the southern Thailand insurgency is the reason a former operations leader and recruiter of the movement surrendered to the military this past weekend. With multiple warrants out for his arrest, Abdul Ropa Soleil had been living on the run for the past eight years, but he had voluntarily surrendered to authorities at a military camp in the south on Saturday, hoping to reunite with his family. According to the commander of the Royal Thai Army in the South, Lieutenant General Piawat Nakwanich, Soleil 
had become disillusioned with the insurgency movement and the government's program to help reintegrate former insurgents is what led to his surrender. It's unclear if any punishment will be dished out. And that's it for Phuket Extra today. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching. Until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. It's time to do something about your body. Get on track by learning your hidden numbers with Fit3D Thailand, the most advanced body composition and posture analysis based on your own 3D avatar. It takes only 40 seconds, and within minutes, you'll have a detailed report that includes everything from your fat mass, lean mass, body measurements, posture analysis, balance, and much more. Track your progress with the most accurate pro scanner available. Visit or contact us today.